Hi, this is Emma at Woods and Peace for uh, my last uh, reading audio reading journal for uh, June uh, 13. Look, I have a little friend here in the backyard. Uh, it's really cool tonight. It's 8.30 um, around in Illinois. Uh, the drink of the night is Decaf Paris, some wonderful flavored uh, decaf black tea by Honey and Sons. It's really, really good. So, uh, I today, then in the after late afternoon, I finished um, listening to the book of the judges. And, um, and then I read about five, five chapters of my book here. Um, or what you will by Joe Walton. Sorry, I don't know why suddenly this is not clear. One on earth, because I guess I'm changing. Here we go. By Joe Walton, published, will, which will be published by Tor uh, Macmillan uh, next month. And um, so, in the chapters I read tonight, I mean, this late afternoon, uh, there's really cool descriptions about clothes, uh, domestic uh, habits, food. I'm not going to tell you again what the book is about. Please listen to my previous um, journal, reading journal of the day. And I'm just going to read a few of the notes I had here uh, today on what I read. There's also, we're also discovering more characters that are from The Tempest and also from Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. Uh, what I really also like, we are discovering more characters from the Renaissance. I mean, people really lived. So this time today I had Pico della Mirandola, uh, a genius. I, we had Petrarch and Boccaccio, so poets and um, author, I mean, fiction writer. And uh, there were passages about I mean, narratives about the Black Death, you know, that decimated really half of Florence in 1348. Also, uh, there was a cool passage about fantasy, the fantasy genre, and for instance, um, Tolkien's take on it. That was pretty cool. There was even a reflection on video games. So this book is unbelievable. There are so many, so many data. And uh, now, uh, two characters, Trish and Dolly, uh, ended up walking uh, back in time. And now, so they are in Renaissance, and they have to figure out now what they are going to do as a living. So they are considering all kinds of possibilities, like being secretary, because they, they know Latin, um, Italian a bit, Greek a bit so this is a possibility or poetry or um, like copying poetry or copying theater or even possibly doing some painting following some masters and doing some painting oh, by the way there were also cool passages on uh, by Byron um, oh and there's a um, you know it's kind of a fantasy for adults so it's fun at one point when the character says hark at the tempest suddenly there's a monster coming and creating a huge earthquake and this monster is actually a character from Greek mythology and um, I'm not going to tell you who or why or what but the character ends up dying and I really loved the uh, the sentence set for this character by another character and I think it could be a cool epigraph it says it's on page 145 may the light behind the stars illuminate illuminate her may the light behind the stars illuminate her I really love this very much and I think uh, so there, there's a lot of reflection too in this book about death death in reality and death in fiction Okay, so that's what I read so far today. And now I'm going to stop this book for tonight. And I'm going to read now an ebook. I'm going to um, 
almost start the because uh, I've already started just uh, two chapters I believe uh, so I'm going to continue reading the ninth book in the Maigret series by Georges Simenon uh, because I'm reading this in uh, as a read along with one of my French students so it's obviously in French and in this one um, Maigret, so the uh, police inspector, he's called by a friend of his who lives in Quimper, which is a, uh, a harbor in uh, western France. And his friend is now the uh, schoolmaster in the little town. And a former student of his schoolmaster is uh, considered a culprit. He is 25 and he was on a boat uh, to... Uh, on an expedition to fish cod and to catch cod and they found that the captain of the boat has been murdered and they are accusing this uh, student. So Megla is going to go and um, to investigate. So that's it uh, for tonight and talk to you tomorrow. And you can say goodbye to my little rabbit which I'm actually going to chase away because I don't want him to go taste my green beans. Night.